UofL band playing there as tip off was set for 7 o'clock but didn't happen until 8.17 tonight. So the light crowd waited for word. A small group of UofL and Yum Center officials stood on the court looking up at the ceiling. Sports reporters, including our Tyler Griever, tweeted live updates about the drip of water and delay of game. And one man's job here was to keep a constant watch on the ceiling. As workers scrambled to the rooftop, finally the word came from Yum Center General Manager Eric Granger about what had happened. Our crews went up to the roof to find the source of the leak. We're able to find a, a slight tear in a, in, just in a seam of the membrane. Uh, could be because of the sudden drops in temperatures today. We don't really know yet. And so we had to stop it, plug that, patch that leak, and then let the water continue to drain down.